What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is free general collective reading for all signs, capsule, sag, and everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with the rest. Free general collective reading. Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess Tarot 5. Oh, sorry, I got some on my teeth. Um, the link's in the description box below. PayPal only, no cash out, no Venmo. It's a very private, confidential way to donate if you choose to donate. I uh, love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. Uh, everyone, please think of me. I have a court date on July 15th of 2022. Uh, child custody battle um, between me and my ex-husband. Um, so per, per the McClendon standards. So everybody, please keep me in your thoughts and prayers. I very much appreciate it. Okay, so we're going to get started. I received a channel message. This is for sign of Scorpio. This can resonate if you have Scorpio in any aspects of your chart. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, Midheim, or Jupiter charts. I encourage everyone to check out their Sun, Moon, Rising, or North Node um, signs as well for additional message or messages if they do apply to you. Um, one message may apply, two may apply, two plus may apply. These are psychic, intuitive, prophetic messages. Okay, so the channel message I received was um, about to hear all about someone's 4th of July events. That's what I heard. So you plug it in how it resonates. About to hear all about someone's 4th of July events. Um, now this is for mid-July of 2022, but I just let y'all know since I'm doing it so early, I might, I'll probably do another one, maybe two more um, this month, but this is for mid-July. So, um, but... Just because it's for mid-July doesn't mean it can't start resonating now or past July, okay? Everybody's on different time of life paths. There's 7 point something, something billion people in the universe. So you have to plug yourself in where you fit, okay? But at least for one of you guys, one of you guys is going to start hearing about someone else's 4th of July events. Um, to me, that can go positively or negatively. Um, it depends if they had drama during their 4th of July events um, or not. I mean, I don't know. Only you know your specific story and this person's specific story and situation, not anybody else, Scorpio. But it's not you. It sounds like somebody's going to come to you and converse with you about their 4th of July events. For some, it could be one person. For some, it could be um, two or two plus. You plug it in, how it resonates, Scorpio. Someone that got hit with a firework. Oh, Lord, I heard someone that got hit with a firework. Oh, my God, someone got hit with a firework. We have belonging. So one, one of you guys is going to hear about somebody that got hit with a firework. Um, I wonder if it was like a bottle rocket. I hope it wasn't anything um, severe. I mean, one, it was a hospitalization and drinking was involved. Okay, well, we're getting juicy now. So one, it was a hospitalization and one drinking was involved. So you plugged in how it resonates there, Scorpio. So somebody got hit with a firework. You're about to hear about that for one of you guys. One of you guys, somebody got hospitalized related to 4th of July events or a firework or fireworks being hit on them, being shot on them is what I feel, and alcohol was involved. So you plug it in how it resonates, goddess of the moon. I don't drink. I don't do drugs. Uh, I, I, I mean, I don't have any addictions except for, um, cigarettes, but I could cut that off if I wanted to. So, um, I can't relate to that, but, uh, but it doesn't mean, I mean, I'm not downing other people's lifestyles. Um, just saying, just saying, but somebody, there's rose drinking involved and somebody got sent to the hospital or went to the hospital because of some kind of injury related to a 4th of July event for a lot of these people i feel it was firework being hit with a firework related and drinking was involved with the hospitalization but you're about to hear about this it's somebody about to come tell you about this spirit messages you have reflected yikes stingray Spirit messages you have reflected. Oh, I heard try again. I got pro reversed. I heard try again. 
put it up right. Spear must have you have this like Someone pleading guilty is about to become very, very significant in a Scorpio's life. For one, it is a Scorpio about to plead guilty. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Someone pleading guilty is about to become very, very significant in a Scorp's life. And, so, and for one of these situations, a Scorpio is about to plead guilty. So, um, to something. Crime or crimes. Uh, but there's two different situations here. So you have to plug yourself in how you fit, as always. For newbies just joining, you have to plug yourself into the message or messages how you apply. If they don't apply to you, you have to let them fly, okay? But for one, Scorpio, you're about to, um, someone pleading guilty to crime or crimes is significant in your life or is about to be. And for one, you're about to uh, plead guilty to crime or crimes. So you have to plug yourself in where you fit, Scorpio. The one about to plead guilty, they know it's the smart thing to do. It is out, 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 and they are right it is. Okay, I heard the Scorpio about to plead guilty to the crime or crimes. Whoever you are, Scorpio, I don't know if you're a man or a woman, a masculine or femme, but you know it's imperative to do so now and smart to do so because I heard it's out, out, out. And you're right, it is. So you're highly intuitive. Whatever the crap you did, it's like out. It's leaked out to the community, to the world. It might be further than that for all we know. But um, you're highly intuitive and you know it's smart to... Um, Plead guilty. I think this is upcoming, um, f obviously from July 5th on. So you have to plug in your court date or dates or what have you, however that resonates, okay? For some, it could have been 4th of July related, maybe. I don't know. I don't know how your 4th of July went. Only you know that. Spirit messages you have to put A Scorpio that once manipulated many, 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 many people to spam and prank call someone through many series, an adult to an adult through many series of chain of events, they're about to have it done to them. They're not going to like it and they're going to understand how it feels. Oh my Lord, you plug it in how it resonates. So adult to adult, adult to adult energy. So 18 or 18 plus energy. Um, it's a Scorpio that basically recruited a ton of people in the past to um, spam and prank call somebody in the past. Um, but the energy is about to shift and I heard soon um, it's about to be done to them. Now this could be a masculine or femme Scorpio. They could have Scorps in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Femme, and Energy for charts. But they basically recruited a ton of people to gang stalk this person basically through phone lines um through prank calls and spam calls um but now it's about to be done to them um and i heard they're not going to like it and they're going to understand how it feels and i've had that crap done to me i had it done to me for years and it does not feel good i had to start um blocking the phone calls um like and i'm not a hang up on person kind of person but i had to start doing that because it became so much and it was terrible. Like you're over here trying to raise your kids and live a happy life and you get crazy phone call after phone call after phone call, like ridiculous phone call. Spirit messages you have to like this. I feel for a lot of you guys, you probably know that person. It's not you, uh, but you plug it in how it resonates, okay? Spirit messages you have reflective. You got stingray, owl, goddess of the moon, belonging, dolphin, financial gain, usually coming from something you did in the past, tiger, doing something risky, taking a chance. Spirit messages you have reflective.
Great. It's time to go out and have fun. Number 52 could be very significant number in one's life. Number 52, it could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number in one's life. Number 52. Also, um, you have water and air sign energy. You could be dealing with another water sign or air sign. If you are, they could have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or Gemini, Gemini Libra, Aquarius, and their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Mid, Hammer, Jupiter charts. If you are. Stingray. A particular relationship with the Pisces for some, for some an Aquarius, and for some a Libra is about to come to a serious head soon. A serious head. Extreme conflictual energy here. Extreme. It's going to be so much. You're not going to want to cut this off, but in some of these situations, they're going to cut it off. And then negative series of chain events are going to occur for you. For some, you're going to cut it off. Oh, my Lord. So you plug it in how it resonates. So they're, um, they're coming in as the stingray energy, uh, conflictual stinging energy. Um, sting, sting, sting. Stingray sting the hell out of you in the ocean. I've been stung by one of these bad boys. Real life. They sting bad. It's not something you want to come across in the ocean. And I'm just being for real. If anybody hasn't experienced one of these bad boys being stung, I have really been stung by one of these people. I mean, not by one of these people. I'm sorry. <laughs> by one of these um, and, um, ocean creatures. I have, really. And it hurts like a mother. Mm. And I'm just being for real. Um, so, true, like, conflictual, stingy energy. In the 3D is what I'm feeling. Like true conflictual stingy energy. Like I heard Libran, Aquarius, and um, who is the other? Pisces. Libra, Aquarius, and Pisces. One of you guys, it could be one of these people. One, it could be two or two plus. For one, it could be 50 Pisces and two Libras for all we know. I don't know. But I heard Libra, Pisces, and Aquarius. Masculine or feminine, they can have Libra, Pisces, or Aquarius in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Feminine, Hammer, and Jupiter charts. But however that resonates for you, Scorpio, I heard it's going to be so bad. For some, I hope it's verbal altercations and not physical altercations. I don't know. Only you're going to know how this plays out in your life, not anybody else. Um, but it's going to become so bad, I heard um, for some, they're going to block it off. The communication and the energy, they're going to block your energy from them. For some, you're going to block your energy from them. But for the ones of you guys where they end up blocking the energy from you, I heard they're going to create negative series of chain events for you. For some, it's protection orders. For some, it's legal action. Oh my God. For some, it's protection orders and for some, it's legal action. These people aren't playing around. So you fill it in how it resonates. But for some of you guys, you're going to block it from the, you're going to block your energy and block, I think, block out of the phone, block contact, block communication, block energy from them. But for the ones that are going to do it to you, for some of you guys, they're going to create the negative series of chain events by protection orders and um, legal action. I mean, Lord. So sting, being stung. I mean, this is not positive, healthy vibes here this is something that sounds like should have been cut off a long time ago whoever in the world this is for maybe it's just for a few of you guys i don't know only you know you're showing out anybody else but that sounds like this should have been done a long time ago it should have been done a long time ago but it's about to happen now okay i heard it should have been done a long time ago but it's about to happen now um whatever this is and how this applies scorpio for some, you're going to do it. You're going to be the action taker and you're going to block communication. You're going to block energy. You're going to block them out of your phone, your life, etc., etc., etc. For some, they're going to do it. And the ones that are going to do it, they're not messing around. Just a little heads up. But only you know if you've got conflictual people like this in your life or not. Okay? For some, it's a legally married wife. 
For some, it's a third-party situation of the past. For some, it's a competitor. For some, it's a legally married wife. Um, for some, it is a competitor. And for some, it is a, a third-party situation of the past. So you plug it in how it resonates, Scorpio. Um, so for some, it's a legally married wife. For some, it's a competitor. So I think they're competing against you. Uh, they might do the same line of work as you, um, and they're competing. Um, at least they're not secretly competing, just saying. And for some, it's um, third-party situation of the past. You plug it in, how it resonates. Yikes, that's not good energy. Owl. A home is about to become way, 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 way too expensive through many series of chain of events. For one. About to become way too much to maintain, upkeep, and pay all the bills on. Through many series of chain of events, for some, you're going to leave. For some, you're going to convince your partner to move. And it's going to work this time. For some, you're a roommate. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. So some kind of home being too expensive. Um, for some, you're a roommate in this. Um, so your roommate, um, it's too expensive for you. You're going to, I guess, tell your, I don't know if you're in a contract as a roommate. I've never been anybody's roommate before. I've had people room with me, um, but I've never been anybody's roommate. But it sounds like one of you guys is somebody's roommate. Um, so I don't know if you had an actual contract with the person um, allowing you to rent the room or space or not. However, that resonates for you there, Scorpio. For one, your roommate, you realize it's too expensive. The upkeep and it's just too much to maintain for the price you're paying as a roommate. And you're going to decide to move. So I'm assuming you're going to communicate with... Um, you're the person that's allowing you to rent the space out um, or the room out or what have you and make plans to leave. And that could be the belonging to you feel like you don't belong there because it's too expensive and um, you want to go and you want to go. And so that's for one of you guys. So your roommate situation, you can be masculine or feminine. I'm feeling that's situation one. Situation two, you're in a it sounds like a, a home or a condo or a duplex or a single family home. And it's too expensive to maintain and upkeep. And like the bills are just piling, piling, piling on. Um, I heard it's just going to get worse too. Um, so uh, maybe rent goes up or the taxes go up if you have bought it or, um, or, um, or something of that nature or something or something of that nature. But it sounds like it's been continually going up for situation two. It's just been continually going up. I think maybe the taxes have gone up or um, the rent's gone up or what have you, what have you. And you, um, I heard you're going to convince your partner to move. I heard this time your partner's going to agree to it. So it sounds like you've convinced, tried to convince your partner in the past to move and they, um, they didn't um, agree to it. But this time, I heard they're going to. But it just sounds like it's just too expensive for you guys in situation two just to maintain and upkeep it and keep it going, just you and your partner on your income or incomes. Um, and so you're trying to be wise here and communicate this with your partner. It sounds like they're going to listen. I heard, well, I heard they're going to listen this time. They're going to listen this time. So I think the proof is in the bills. The proof is in the continual bills, the continual upkeep, the continual increase in cost of living and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera for a situation two. So belonging, you're going to look for another home or another duplex or condo or apartment or what have you, what have you. Um, I'm feeling somewhere cheaper is what I'm feeling, but you plug it in how it resonates. Um, this is, I feel this is your energy here, Scorpio, in situation uh, one and two. Um, delivering the information to the um, 
roommate or well not the roommate but the person that allowed you to live in their home or people that allowed you to live in their home um, for situation one and for situation two delivering the information to your partner to make plans to move um, I feel you could have bought this home or you could have rented it however that resonates okay Respect coming for a very, very, very high vibrational Scorpio Feminine. Younger Scorpio Feminine. 30 and below. Hot, much respect coming to you soon. You're about to really stand up for a situation. Some in your workplace. Some in a community setting. Soon. And it's going to give you high honor. Okay, well, you go with your bad self, Scorpio fam, 30 or below. I heard you're very high vibrational, so you treat people with honesty, trust, respect, morals, values, ethics, and integrity. You're 30 or below, very high vibrational. Um, for some, you're going to stand up for um, a situation, it sounds like, coming soon in your community. So community setting energy, I feel it could be ball team or community activism or, um, or something of that nature, or maybe it's a... Um, community meeting or something like in a public space, however that resonates. Um, and for some, it's in a workplace. So you're going to be very wise about this. Um, I heard you're going to stand up. You're going to stand up. Um, it sounds like when nobody else would or wouldn't. I, I will. It sounds like when nobody else would, you're about to do it. And I heard you're going to get high honor. For some, you're in the LGBTQLA community. For some, you're in the LGBTQLA community. So for some of you high vibrational Scorpio feminines, 30 or below, you're in the LGBTQLA community. So you're about to be very wise. Stand up for a situation where nobody else sounds like is going to or did. Um, and it's going to give you high honor, ma'am, whoever you are. Um, my hat's off to you, ma'am. Um, I have a daughter that is LGBTQLA, um, and I love her with every ounce of my being, and um, I would stand up for her in a New York minute. Um, absolutely. So um, I don't know if this is an LGBT, LGBTQLA issue or not. Um, I don't know. Um, only you know that, not anybody else, but I heard you're a member of the LGBTQLA community. So you plug it in how it resonates, ma'am. Goddess of the Moon. A very highly intuitive Scorpio feminine, very high vibrational now reader. Someone has been talking behind your back, calling you a dark high priestess. But you have not invoked any negative energies. However, it's about to seriously backfire on them because they have invoked the energy of Kali and their, their house is about to get destroyed. Very negative energy they have invoked. Holy shit. Whoa. So you plug it in, that resonates, Scorpio. Holy crap. So if this resonates for you, um, your reader, your reader, um, a high vibrational one now, I heard. So in the past, you might not have been high vibrational, but now you are. Now you treat people with honesty, trust, respect, morals, values, ethics, and integrity. Um, no judgments here. I mean, everybody grows. At least you grew. Um, I don't know how old you are, but um, I don't care how old you are, but it's really good that you have done the healing and shadow work, whoever you are. Um, and I feel your femme because I heard they called you a dark high priestess in the past. For some, you could be a masculine that takes on femme energy for some. 
um, if you like to be called pre, you know, you know femme. Um, but I feel for a majority of you guys, you're femme. Um, but you have to plug yourself in how you fit. Dark, high priest, or high priestess. How that resonates and how you like to be, what you like to be called there, sir, ma'am. Um, but somebody had been, got somebody, your reader. So somebody's been gossiping behind your back. It sounds like in the recent past or current energetic space, calling you a dark high priestess. So meaning this is the high priestess in this deck on the positive side of things, high vibrational energy. The dark high priestess is low, low vibrational using dark arts and voodoo and hoodoo and um, the energy of Kali and all kinds of crazy shit, basically. But you're not doing that. You're not invoking negative demonic energy and entities you are um reading on the light side and light vibrations here sir ma'am um whoever you are but somebody's been gossiping and slandering and defamation defamation of character you basically saying that you are a dark high priestess to slander you basically to get people not to pervade your services basically and i'm just being for real trust me i've been doing this two and a half years i've i've come across a lot of negative energy in my life trust me that's exactly why they're doing that. They don't want people to utilize your services, ma'am. I feel you're a ma'am or a masculine likes to be called ma'am. But how that res resonates, um, I heard it's about to backfire on them because they have invoked the spirit of an energy of Kali. Now, anybody doesn't know, Kali is a, <laughs> whoo, she's a, um, a strong energy. She's a very strong energy. And um, you only, and. Uh, you're invoking Kali on the dark side there. Um, anybody invokes Kali, uh, you're invoking her for not good things is what I'm saying. So I heard it's about to backfire on them and their house is about to get destroyed. So um, I think the energy is about to physically boomerang back in their home because you are high vibrational, whoever you are. They're claiming you're not. But... It's about to boomerang energetically back on them in the form of their house getting destroyed because they have invoked this, the Kali spirit, demonic energy, negative energy so strong that it's about to destroy their damn house because they wanted it to come to you. Well, that's how that shit works. That's why you shouldn't invoke any negative shit. And that's just the truth. Um, so, but you really are the goddess of the moon or god of the moon, um, high priest or high priestess, and you really are doing things right, sir, ma'am, whoever you are. Um, just, I, I mean, that's their negative karma, and I'm just being for real. And a Scorpio is about to see a very, very, very high vibrational feminine energy. Not a Scorpio reader about to really, really, really take off in a positive way. A psychic. Highly, 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 highly intuitive. About to see the growth. Okay. Okay, and I heard for one of you guys, you're about to see a Scorpio. I mean, not a Scorpio. You, Scorpio, is about to see a no, uh, psychic. A psychic, a very, very, very highly intuitive psychic. Um, her business take off in a very positive way, basically. I heard she's very high vibrational, very light side. Um, she might have light and dark in her. We all have light and dark in us, and that's just the truth. But she she doesn't invoke the energy of Kali, I'll tell you that. Um, whoever this person is, she does not invoke the energy of Kali. Uh, you're only invoking the energy of Kali if you want to destroy somebody. And I'm just being for real. And I think that's why their home is about to get destroyed. Because they wish that so badly upon this other person. Or I'm sorry, they wish it so badly upon you for situation one. That's why their house is about to get destroyed. So situation two, your reader over here that's not a Scorpio, her business is about to go up in a positive way. But what I'm saying is, I don't. she's not invoking the energy of Kali. Like situation one, the people behind the scenes trying to invoke Kali on your ass. Um, she's not invoking Kali. She is doing it completely on the light side in a positive way. Her business is about to go up in a positive way. I heard you're about to see this. Um, so I think you follow this reader. I think you watch this reader. Um, you can be a masculine or feminine Scorpio for situation two. 
And you're about to really see growth in, in her and her business is what I'm feeling. Um, she's definitely not Kali energy over here. And that's just the truth. So goddess of the moon for situation two, high vibrational um, reader. Now, like I said, she could have a little dark in her, but we all in, all have dark and light. It's how you grow and manifest it in life. I can't get on this platform and claim that I have loved and light everything in my damn life because that's just not the truth. But I have grown and healed and done my healing and shadow work. And do I wish ill upon anybody in my life? No. Um, and that's just the truth. Have I, 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 And I, even when I was going through hard shit, I didn't wish ill upon people. Um, but am I going to sit up on this platform and complain uh, and claim I've been perfect ever? I mean, all my days of my life? No, because that's not true. You know what I'm saying? Um, but that's really beautiful energy. That's really beautiful energy. I think this person keeps it real. I think they keep it real. I think they, I think the, her, um, him or her, I feel it's a femme energy. But for some of them, they could be masculine that takes on femme, possibly. Whoever this person is and however they connect in your life, Scorpio. I heard they're not a Scorpio. Whoever this person is, I think they keep it real. And I think their followers or their subscribers or their clientele, they know they keep it real. Um, like a hundred hundred. And they do things from the heart space and not from invoking energy of Kali. And that's for freaking truth. Another Scorpio is getting a huge wake up call. Another Scorpio is getting a huge wake-up call. I mean, I'm just being for real, man. That That's some serious crap when you're invoking freaking Kali. I mean, you're not playing around. Um, no. Sorry, y'all. Just give me one second. I apologize. Okay. Belonging. A Scorpio is about to get a huge wake-up call that a particular Leo femme always did it on their own. In the past, when you energetically connected with this person years ago, you intuitively felt this, but you were lied to for years too. But now, it's clear as day, you know they're doing it on their own. This Scorpio is about to create many series of chain of events to help this person out in a huge way. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates, Scorpio. Well, that's actually pretty beautiful. I feel you're a high vibrational Scorpio if this resonates for you. Um, you treat people honestly, trust, respect, morals, ethics, and um, integrity and values, whoever you are, sir, ma'am. Um, I heard, um, okay, so you, it's a Leo femme. They can have Leo in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, and Hamid, your British hearts. However, that resonates, Scorps. Um, but you energetically connected with them years ago. So, um, for some, it's been about six months. For some, it's been about six months. So for some, it's been about six months since you've energetically connected with them. For some, it's been years. So you have to plug yourself in how it fits. Have you, has it been years since you've energetically connected with her or has it been six months or so? Um, only you know how long it's been. So you plug it in how it resonates. But to Leo fam, uh, she's a high vibrational one, I feel. But I heard when you did, energetically connect with her so in the 3d conversate with her interact with her in the 3d whatever whatever however you interact with her um school functions or ball team functions or work functions or community functions or what have you what have you functions you intuitively felt that she did it all on her own then when you connected with her in the 3d world whether it was through school or ball team or work or community or activism or what have you, what have you, you intuitively felt she did it all on her own when you connected with her in the 3D world. Um, but I heard since then you've been lied to, whether it's been six months of being lied to or years of being lied to. Um, but now you're learning the real truth that she really is doing it on her own. So you were mentally manipulated to think she wasn't, but she really was the whole time. But there's a reason somebody was making you think wanting you to think rather that she wasn't doing it on her own um but i heard the truth's out now it is out now 
way out. Okay, it's out now, way out. So, but I heard you're going to create positive series of chain of events for her in some shape, form, or fashion um, because you do realize the truth now. Because um, the truth's out. You do realize it. There's no manipulation anymore. Um, for some, you could start to realize it soon, but I feel for a majority of you guys, whoever this Leo Fem is and how they apply in your life, you've already realized it because the truth's already out. I think, like, out, out, out. Either social media, 3D, community, world, or what have you, what have you. It's already out. Um, and you're going to create positive series of chain of events for her. So belonging. Um, I think she belonged in your community or your group setting or your school or workplace or ball team or activism or what have you, what have you um, at one point in your life. But there was a reason somebody was mentally manipulating you to believe she didn't do it on her own. But now, you know, she does. There's a reason they wanted you to think she was codependent. Um, that's crazy. Um, that's crazy. A Taurus and a Libra was very significant in this, and you know this, and an Aquarius. A Taurus, a Libra, and an Aquarius was very significant in this, and you know this. A Taurus, a Libra, and an Aquarius. So they could have Taurus, Libra, or Aquarius in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, and Hammer, Jupiter charts. But there's a reason they wanted you to think this Leo Feminine was codependent. But I heard she never has been. Um, she never has been. So, um, I think you like this Leo Fem. I think she belong. Um, I think you like her. I think um, there's a sense of belonging here. And, um, uh, I think she never was mean to you or harsh to you or cruel to you or crass to you or rude to you. I think she, um, she was a part of a group dynamic with you in some shape, form or fashion. And I don't feel it was negative. And I heard you intuitively knew she did it independently when you were with her, um, but somebody wanted you to believe she didn't. Uh, but you're about to stand up. There's a lot of standing up energy in here. Standing up for person, people, place, or situation. Standing up for yourself. Um, that's really beautiful energy. Um, you're about to pay it forward to her in some shape, form, or fashion. Now, I don't know how you're going to do it. This could be information. This could be um, assistance. It could be a donation. It could be they're delivering life-altering information. That creates a series of chain of events that affects her life, hopefully in a positive way. Or if somebody's done something negatively to her, catch the crook or criminals, possibly. I don't know. Only you know your story, not anybody else, okay? But I do think you have a positive relationship with her, or you did. However, that resonates, um, Scorpio. I uh, feel this is for a high vibrational Scorpio, not that low vibrational Scorpio that I've been pulling in that has like six baby mamas. I just want to make that very abundantly clear. Um, I feel you're a very high vibrational Scorpio, whoever that's for. Dolphin financial gain, usually coming from something you did in the past. A Scorpio's videos are about to be watched from the past. It's about to bring you extra revenue. Okay, I heard a Scorpio's videos are about to be watched from the past. They're about to bring you um, extra revenue. So, um, royalties from the past. Uh, somebody's about to um, watch some of your videos from the past. Now, Whoever this is for, it's your videos. I don't feel, you know, this is a high vibrational Scorpio I'm speaking to here. It's your work, your creative ideas, your creative thoughts, your creative um, whatever you're doing here. Some kind of videos from the past. Um, and it's going to create extra income. You did it in the past, but it's going to create you income because somebody's about to watch them. So it's on a public platform like YouTube or any other public platform. Um, and it's going to bring you financial an uptick in your finances because you're about to get increased view count, increased watch time, um, and it's going to increase your revenue stream. So that's beautiful. So um, some kind of video is about to be watched from the past, which is going to increase your revenue, financial um, gain, increase your revenue stream. For some, I feel it could be YouTube. For others, it could be any other platform. I didn't hear what platform it was.
A Scorpio that was stole from in a huge way. African American Scorpio, you were stole from in a huge way from your family. An inheritance. You're about to get it soon. It's about to shock the hell out of you. They were trying to keep it hidden from you, but you're about to get it. And once you get it, you're going to be so shocked and so happy that you're going to pay it forward. Wow, that's beautiful. So you plug it in, how it resonates. So if this message applies for you, you're African-American Scorpio. Um, you can have Scorps in your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, Moon, and Hammer, Jupiter, Jupiter charts. I feel you could be masculine or feminine. But I heard your family has been strategically hiding this inheritance from you. Now, I feel this could be physical money. It could be um, property, land, um, assets, um, whatever the crap it is, or a combination, how that resonates. But it's very valuable, whatever the crap it is and how that applies, okay? There's a strategic reason your family was hiding it from you. Um, you're an African-American Scorpio. You could be masculine or feminine. This is not about race in here, but I heard you were African-American. So you have to plug it in how it resonates, sir, ma'am. I feel you're high vibrational. Um, but I heard your uh, family's been strategically hiding it from you, but you're about to get it through many series of chain events. I think a lawyer's about to reach out to you. This is exactly what I think. Um, or some other series of chain events are going to be created to where you find this out. Um, I wonder if you're going to press charges on your family. Um, after you find this out, because if they were holding it from you, um, I mean, I'm pretty, I'm not police, but I'm pretty positive you could probably press charges if they were strategically holding it from you. Of course, you know, you talk to police or investigators or whoever you need to speak to for clarification on that. But I'm pretty sure if they were strategically holding it back from you, you probably press charges. But I'm not law enforcement, so you might want to call somebody in the law enforcement sector and clarify that if you wanted to press charges. But how that resonates, you are about to get this inheritance. You're about to get it, whether you want to press charges or not. You're about to get it. And I heard once you get it, um, it's going to make you so shocked and so happy that you're going to pay it forward to somebody um, once you get it. So uh, a lot of paying it forward energy in here um, and a lot of cycle change energy, which is really, really, really beautiful, sir, ma'am. You're a high vibrational African-American Scorpio. So congrats to you. So the financial gain usually coming from something you did in the past, I think is, um, I think you should have had this inheritance a while ago, but it was strategically held from you. So you should have been gaining financial gain from it. I think for some it's property or properties. You could have been written this bad boy out a long last time ago and gaining rent money from it, but they were strategically holding it back, i.e. the rent, i.e. the income you could have had every month, renting it out, if it is a home or homes or property or properties. Even if it's land, somebody could uh, rent a trailer on it or trailers, you know, um, or what have you. A Scorpio is getting a huge wake-up call, huge. A Scorpio is getting a huge wake-up call, huge. I'm serious, I'm serious. Got things smarter, not harder. Uh, yes, I'm not rich by any stretch of the imagination, but if I was, you better believe I have lots of ideas. And one day I will be rich. And that's just the truth, because I'm going to make it that way. Tiger, doing something risky, taking a chance. A Scorpio is about to skydive soon. And a Scorpio, high vibrational Scorpio, African American, is about to snitch on a very low vibrational spoiled Scorpio, 35 and below. Okay, so one of you guys is going to skydive soon. Congrats. I've always wanted to go skydiving. I want to do it so bad, you guys. One day I'm going to do that too, just saying. And one of you guys, I'm pulling in heavy African American Scorpio energy, but high vibrational. So, you're a high vibrational African-American Scorpio, and I heard you're about to snitch on a very spoiled um, 35 and below Scorpio masculine. Caucasian, very spoiled, a huge criminal. And you know this, very spoiled, a huge criminal. Um, so you're an African-American high vibrational Scorpio, sir, ma'am, and you're going to snitch on the low vibrational Caucasian 35 or below Scorpio masculine spoiled one. 
Um, and that, I think, is the doing something risky, taking a chance. Um, I, 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 however you're going to do this, I if it was me, I would, I mean, however you're going to do it. But if it was me, I would call, um, If it, it sounds like it's something very criminal. I would call police investigators or feds or something. I mean, or however you need to do it. Um, I think you felt blackmailed in the past or felt like, you couldn't because of certain situation or situations in the past. Um, but um, I think the energy shifted. It has shifted in a huge way. A huge way. And this Scorpio is about to help it shift. They know it needs to be done and they're right. Okay, I heard it shifted in a huge way, a huge way. And you have vibrational African American Scorpio. You're about to help it, help it shift because I know you intuitively know it needs to shift so you're highly intuitive you're highly intellectual you're very smart and uh whoever you are sir um or ma'am i don't know if you're a sir or ma'am i said sir but you could be a man ma'am or a sir but you're african-american you're highly intuitive and you're very smart i'll tell you that um and you you know it needs to shift and you're about to help it shift oh i love it this is like a mixture this is great. This is really good energy for the most part. Now, there is some very spoiled, criminal, younger, Caucasian, Scorpio masculine in here and some other low vibrational stuff. But for the most part, you guys are looking good up in here. Um, great. It's time to go out and have fun. I would love to know about the skydiving. I'm just being real, especially if you live in Alabama because I want to go so bad. I'm just serious. Anybody wants to skydive being partner, let me know. Just saying. I'm all up for that. I mean, I'd be scared as hell. I ain't gonna lie. I'd be scared as freaking hell. But it'd be the adventure of a damn lifetime. And that's just the truth. I'm all about having fun. And I think that's part of time to go out and have fun too. I think one of you guys, you're about to go skydiving, baby. And you're about to let it fly. Literally. That is so cool. Some you could be a skydiving instructor, possibly. I didn't hear you are, but you possibly could be for some. A bar brawl is about to become very significant in Scorpio's life. And there's about to be a very, 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 very significant and public child custody battle win soon. You're going, it's a feminine energy about to win and you are going to be so happy for this person. You're going to so publicly say it in many ways. You will be so happy for this person. You know they deserve it and they do. Okay, I heard there's about to be a significant bar brawl um, soon. Um, I don't know if you're going to be participating in this bar brawl. Hopefully not, Scorpio. Please don't um, stoop down that low, just saying. Um of course, I'm not you. I can't tell you what to do, but um, I would just say it. Um, maybe for some, you're going to break it up. I don't know. Or for some, maybe it's a family member you're going to hear about it from or a friend or a friend of me or what have you. Uh, for some, I feel you could be at the bar when this actually happens. For some, you could just hear about it. For some, you could help be maybe your bodyguard going to break it up. I don't know. Um, some kind of bar brawl. I think it's when somebody's having too much fun. Just saying, just saying. And for another one of you guys, or maybe the same person, there's about to be a very significant court battle win soon. I heard it's a fem energy about to win this court battle. I don't think it's you. I think it's somebody you're connected to. I heard you're going to be so, so, so happy for this person. You're going to basically very publicly announce it um, in many ways publicly. Um, I'm assuming to her or to her and other people. Um, because I heard you know she truly deserves it, and I heard you're right, she does. So you're highly intuitive, and you know she truly deserves it. And when she wins this, you're going to turn it around on the asshole that took her in a huge way, in a way they would have never expected. 
Okay, I heard it. When she wins, you're going to turn it around on the asshole that took her because you um, you know she um, basically didn't deserve it. Um, it sounds like um, it's a masculine that took her to in the middle of this court battle. It could be for one child or two or two plus children. Um, <coughs> excuse me. But I heard you're going to turn it around on the asshole that took her. It's a masculine energy asshole that took her. Um, and you're going to turn around in a negative way for him. So, however, you're going to turn it around in a negative way for him. Only you know your situation is store um, situation there, Scorpio. Not anybody else, okay? Um, whoever you are, sir, ma'am. Um, he is about to ever regret, regret it. He's about to ever regret it. My God. Okay, Scorpio, feisty. He's going to ever regret uh, messing with this femme energy. Um, you think very highly of this femme energy, Scorpio, whoever you are. You think very highly of her. Um, um, I, do, I do. I think that. I think you respect her. And I think you think very highly of her. And I think you'll have a positive relationship. Um, I mean, for some, you could be dating her. I don't feel you are. I feel it's platonic, though. And definitely very positive. Um, however, this person plugs in your life. Um, but... You definitely care about her, whether you date her or don't date her. Or she's um, just a positive part of your life or was or is or what have you in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, you you are going to, um, it sounds like you're going to create some kind of negative series of chain events for the masculine energy that took her once she wins this court battle. He is going to regret it in many ways. He is going to regret it in many ways, I heard. He's going to regret, I guess, taking her to for this court battle in many ways. Um, I think time to go out and have fun. Maybe you're going to invite her out. Maybe you're going to invite her out. Uh, I feel for this femme energy, it's her ex-husband or baby daddy or ex-fiance or what have you what have you she has children with them so it's either ex-husband baby daddy or um fling that turned into a child how that resonates which would be a baby daddy but how that resonates however that resonates corbio <laughs> um i think you might invite her out um is what i think because i got that with this so um i think you might invite her out possibly I mean, it could just be a friend. I mean, it don't have to be no kissing cousins. Uh, well, not kissing cousins, but I hope not no kissing cousins. But, you know, it doesn't have to be um, kissy kissy is what I'm saying. It can be just be fun. Um, and I'm just being for real. Um, we live in freaking 2022, man. It doesn't have to be, um, you know, oh, okay, we're going out. I want to marry you. Oh, God, that's scary as hell. No, 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 nay, nay. I wouldn't do that. I would not. Nay, nay. No, nay, freaking nay. I got to get to know you. And that's just the truth. <laughs> that's just me, though, you know. But you plug it in, how it resonates. Okay. Let's see if I hear anything else. An earth sign feminine is about to become very, very significant in a Scorpio's life. Very high vibrational earth sign femme. She's very loyal friend. And you know this. Okay, earth sign femme is about to become very, very significant in a Scorpio's life. She's a very loyal friend and you know this. So whoever this earth sign, high vibrational earth sign femme friend is, we're almost at hour, but I'm just going with it. Um, earth sign femme friend. She's very loyal. And I was pulling an earth sign femme um, person in your reading in the last one too. So for some, I feel it might have piggybacked over. The energy is piggybacked over, but you plug it in how it resonates, Scorpio. But you, she, I heard she's a very loyal friend. So she's very loyal and trustworthy and she don't go around blabbing your business to everybody and their mama. And trust me, um, that's really beautiful because um, um, yeah, it's hard to find people like that these days. And that's just the damn truth. That's why I don't have no damn friends. And that's just the truth. Um, it's hard to find good loyal ones. But whoever this earth sign fan friend is, she's loyal. So hopefully you treat her right there, Scorpio, and you don't go be blabbing her shit because that's not fair. 
Um, if your mind used to hear that, if she's keeping your secret secret, you need to keep her secret secret because that's the way true friends go. And true loyalty goes. It should be a two-way street if anybody needs to hear that. Okay? Take it from Mama Mary. Just saying, just saying. All right. A raffle is about to become very significant in Scorpio's life. And customization, customizations. A raffle ticket is about to become very significant in Scorpio's life. And customizations, customs, custom, customizations. That's what I heard. I don't know, man. I feel, I, I think, I feel like rims, rims on a vehicle. Isn't that like customizations? I don't know. That's what I'm equating this to. But any kind of customizations, it's something special you custom design on something or have custom designed on something i example of that i would think like rims on a vehicle you're not when you buy the vehicle it ha, comes with standard rims but not like the 20 inch blingy blinger ones you know what i'm saying um but however that resonates is what i'm trying to say some kind of customizations and some kind of raffle so you plug it in how it resonates i love you guys everybody have a good day and namaste